Good morning everyone. Today, we're going to discuss about Part 2 of Module 5, Science 7, Quarter 2. This is Sir Topper, your Science 7 teacher. Before we proceed, let us have this class prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you God for another day. Help me with my work today, with the way I behave and the games that I play. Let my heart remember you. Help me to love like you do. I want to shine your light in this school. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For today, we're going to continue the discussion about Module 5, but this time, we're going to proceed with Lesson 2. It's all about the cell types, structures, and functions. So before we proceed, let's have the review what I know. Directions, choose the letter that corresponds to the best answer. K in your answer in your class point up. Okay? And our class code is 805-10. Number one, there are how many primary types of cells? Is it A? 1, B, 2, C, 3, D4. Okay, that is correct. It is letter B. We have two primary types of cells. Number two, which of the following organelles is not a basic part of a cell? A. Endoplasmic reticulum. B. Cell membrane. C. Cytoplasm. D. Nucleus. Okay, that's also correct. It is A. Endoplasmic reticulum. So let's have number three. Which type of cells contain nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles? A. Animal cells. B. Autocratic cells. C. Eukaryotic cells. D. Prokaryotic cells. Okay, that's also correct. It's letter C. Eukaryotic cells. How about number four question? What type of cells lack defined nucleus but contain nucleoid in them? A. Plant cells. B. Animal cells. C. Eukaryotic cells. D. Prokaryotic cells. Uh huh. That is also correct. It is letter D. Prokaryotic cells. Number 5. The nucleus plays vital role in the process taking place inside the cell. Which of the following roles does it perform? 1. It controls all the activities of other cell parts. 2. Converts energy and food to a form usable to cell. 3. They are involved in the manufacture of proteins. 4. Allows the entry and exit of substance inside the cell. Is it A. 1 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3 only. Or D, 1, 3, and 4 only. Okay, that is correct. It's letter A, 1 only. Okay, let's have number 6. Plasma membrane work is one important part of the cell. Which of the following statements shows the functions of plasma membrane? 1. It blocks some substance to pass through it. 2. It is involved in the manufacture of proteins. 3. It permits some substances to pass through it. Or 4. It controls all the activities of the other cell parts. Is it A. 2 only? B. 3 only? C. 1, 2, and 3 only? And D. 1, 3, and 4 only? Okay, that is correct. It's only... 3. It permits some substances to pass through it. That is letter B. How about number 7? What main part of cell is consisting of a jelly-like substance where all the other parts of the cell are embedded? A. Plasma membrane. B. Cytoplasm. C. Cell wall. D. Nucleus. Very good. It is called cytoplasm. It is letter B. Which organelle is not considered as a main part of the cell? A. Nucleus B. Cytoplasm C. Golgi body D. Plasma membrane 
Very good. It is letter C, Golgi body. How about number 9 question? What type of cell is present in humans? A. Plant cells B. Monocular cells C. Eukaryotic cells D. Prokaryotic cells Very good! And that is letter C. Eukaryotic cells Number 10 and the last question. In your science class, you investigated the cell. You found out that cell is eukaryotic. What is your first criterion in identifying the type of the cell? A. Absence of nucleus B. Presence of nucleus C. Absence of plasma membrane D. Presence of plasma membrane Okay, that is correct. There is the presence of nucleus. Okay, let's proceed with the discussion. What's in? In the previous lesson, you were able to trace cell history and cell theory. Can you name the scientists who made great contributions to the discovery of the cell? In the theory presented, which one is the most unbelievable for you? Our basic knowledge of cells will help us understand its importance. It will usher us into finding out more about the cells as we are about to explore deeper on the cell types, structures, and functions. Let's journey together. So this is a, a story written by Maria Baniza M. Tayon. So entitled, Cromwell's A Journey. So let's begin. Cromwell is a grade 7 student who enrolled in a public high school. He was still very young when his mother noticed that he is fond of reading books. They're not just any other book, they're science books. Since then, his parents were very supportive of his hobby. One night, he started reading a book entitled Biology. He remembered the assignment given by his teacher. He took down notes to answer the questions. What are the types of cells? How do they differ? Then he sat back, relaxed, and went on reading. He looked at the color figures of cells classified as eukaryotic and prokaryotic. He closely searched for their differences. He noticed that eukaryotic cells have this distinct nucleus enclosed by a membrane. Eukaryotes are multicellular. He exclaimed, he learned that plants, animals, and protists are eukaryotes. I am eukaryotic, he told himself. He wondered how prokaryotic cells can survive as a unicellular organism even without well-defined membrane or nucleus. He looked and compared the eukaryotic from the prokaryotic cells. While drinking some water, he started illustrating Echeceria or Echeretia coli and cyanobacteria to easily remember the examples of prokaryotic cells. It was 8 o'clock in the evening as he continued reading the next topic. What's this? He whispered. Cells have three basic parts which are the cytoplasm, nucleus, and the plasma membrane. He found out the cytoplasm is a jelly-like substance where all other cell parts are located. The nucleus can be seen easily as it is located at the center and it controls the activities of the other parts of the cell. This plasma membrane encloses the cell separating the inside contents from its outside environment. Suddenly, his mother called him, so he stopped reading and went to sleep. The next day, he became very excited in going to school, though he prepared a lot before his science class started. He can't help but feel anxious. When his favorite subject started, he felt a little bit nervous but confident enough to interact with his teacher and classmates. You know what? His teacher was amazed of his comprehensive and factual ideas. Claps filled the air after his turn in class. This made him more eager to do advanced readings. Cromwell's day became much fuller when his class said hi and congratulated him after her, their class. When he got home, he told his mother of what happened during that day. That night at home, while Cromwell's mom was cooking, she listened and asked him questions like a teacher. What are the functions of cells? She said, 
as she acted like the strictest lady in town. Then, the two of them laughed aloud together. I know some of this, but I am not sure, he replied. The say sat together, and Karma started reading. Generally, cells carry out all life processes and secrete certain substances during and after the cellular activity. Therefore, our cells produce energy, provide structure, and support, and allow the transport of substances. He embarked. Very good, my child, because you do t towards your studies. I'll give you a food treat by Saturday. Okay, this is a question about the story. Are you amazed of Cromwell's journey? What attitude towards learning did he show? So please answer this. Okay, so what is it? How much you have learned today? Let's find out if you can answer the questions that follow. Rewrite the answer. Okay, separate sheet. Okay, what are the primary types of cells? What are the differences between the two types of cells? So fill in the common or the columns as required. Okay, this is the answer. For number one question, what are the primary types of cells? Are they are unicellular and multicellular. And for number two, we have unicellular, multicellular. When characteristics are description of the cell, for unicellular, it is single-celled organisms. Multicellular, millions of cells. Terms describe organisms with this type of cells, prokaryotes, and the multi is eukaryotes. Examples, for unicellular, euglena, paramecium, coccus, multicellular, plants, animals, fungi, protists. Okay, let's have number two, activity. Give the main parts of the cell and their functions, cap and complete. Okay, so according to the uh, the story, they are cytoplasm. They are jelly-like substances where all other cells' parts are located. The nucleus, a cell part that is distinct and located at the center, and it controls the activities of the other parts of the cell. Plasma membrane, it encloses the cell and separates what is inside from its outside environment. And what are the cells uh, building blocks? Okay, so cells general functions. First, produce energy. Second, produce structure and support. And three, allows transport and s of substances rather. Cells vary in size, shape, and function, but they are parts and characteristics common to all of them. You have learned in lesson one that all organisms are made up of cells. However, you needed to explore more about its type, parts, and functions as building blocks of life. The journey of Cromwell helped you to find answers to your questions. Look at the figures below and spot the differences. Okay, for eukaryotic, figure 1. For prokaryotic, rather, figure 1. And figure 2 is for eukaryotic. So that is animal cell. Have you noticed that there are many other parts of the cell? You have already learned from them in the previous module. The figures above will give you a total picture of cell to let you see the basic parts of cell. Okay. So these are the differences between the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic. Okay. So basic parts of the cell, the cell membrane, the nucleus, and the cytoplasm. Okay, what's more? So you are uh, given the chance to do this. Matching type. You need to match a description in column A with the organisms or organelles in column B. Okay? So it's one, two, seven. Okay, ready? For number one, it is a cell part that is distinct and located at the center. It controls activities of other parts of the cell, and that is E, nucleus. These are jelly-like substances where all other cell parts are located. That is cytoplasm, letter B. It encloses the cell and separates what's inside from its outside environment. That is plasma membrane, letter G. A type of cell that lacks defined nucleus but has a region called nucleoid. It is prokaryotic cell, or I. A type of cell with nucleus in other membrane-bound organelles. And that is eukaryotic cell, letter D. They are multicellular organisms like plants with membrane-bound organelles, and that is 
eukaryotes and their unicellular organisms like coccus and euglena that is prokaryotes okay so what i have learned so you need to uh, choose your answers from the box above then fill in on the numbers okay the answers are number one prokaryotic cell two eukaryotic three plasma membrane four is cytoplasm 5 is nucleus, 6 is eukaryotes, 7 prokaryotes, K8 produce energy, 9 provide structure and support, and 10 allow transport of substance. That's it. Okay, what can I do? You are given to do this again. You are the, given the rubric. So take this as your assignment. Okay, so let's have the assessment directions. Choose the letter of the correct answer. From the given choices, K in your answer in your class point up. Okay, let's have number one. What type of cells do humans have? Okay, the correct answer is letter B, eukaryotic. E. coli is a bacterium responsible in speeding digestion. In which type of cell do they belong? Very good. That is prokaryotic. Which of the following is a cell that has no defined nucleus but has a nucleoid region? Yes, that is prokaryotic cell, letter D. And how about number 4? Which of the following cells have no nucleus in other membrane-bound organelles? Yes, it's A, prokaryotic cell. And number 5, which among the following organelles make up prokaryotic? Are prokaryotes. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is nucleoid. Okay, so that's all. You are given additional activities. You are going to do a 3D foldable storybook and you are given uh, the rubrics to follow. Concentrate on the 10 points. It's about important events, paraphrasing, story elements, and word choice. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, thank you everyone. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.